In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to create a branch in Git. I'm going to start by cloning a remote repository to my local machine. So I open the Git Repository Exploring view and I select the option to clone a repository. And the repository I want, I've already copied the URI for that into place. It's my sandbox. So I need to authenticate on github.com. And I need to select the local, direct, the local folder where I would like this repository to exist. I'm now going to import the projects into the workspace. I right click on the repository and select import projects. And you see that there's one project, GPS Watch, so I'll select finish to select that project. At this point, GPS Watch is in my workspace. And I'm, I'll show you the first way to create a branch in, in Git. If we go open the Git repositories view, we can under branches, we can right click and select switch to new branch dot dot dot. At this point, we simply add, create a name for the branch. In Bridgepoint, branches are often named based on tasks that we're going to accomplish. So in this case, I'm just going to give it the name task one. So that's one way to create a branch in, in Bridgepoint. You can now see that the sandbox is actually pointing at the task one branch. I'll switch back to the master branch now by right clicking on the repository and selecting the master branch. At this point I'll show you a second way to create a branch. We'll go to the Java perspective, right click on any file in the project and select the, the history for this file by, by selecting team show in history. At this point we see all the history for this file and you can see that the task one branch is created here and it's the, got the same identifier as, as um, master because there have been no changes here. But an easy way to create a branch is from the history perspective. We can select um, at any point in time in the history, right click on it and then select the option to create a branch. And we give the branch a name just as we did previously. In this case, I'll, I'll call the, the branch task2. And I'll select the option to go ahead and check out that branch. So now you can see that we've switched to the task2 branch. Congratulations, you've, I've shown you two different ways now to create branches in Git. 